somebody very special at our parish. Um, when I first got here about a year and a half ago, I met so many awesome people. But just in a particular way today, we're going to share a really special story with you. Uh, this person I'm talking about today is Michelle Ferrara, and we want to bring her to your attention. Um, Mike's done a lot of great things. She's been a St. Vincent de Paul member for 37 years, president for 25 years. She's one of five founders and president of the board of directors for Cleveland Furniture Bank for 11 years. She's opened three Ozanam outreach centers. She started two hot meal programs at Holy Name Church, and she started the Obras de Caridad in El Salvador in 2006. So she's been a good witness for all of us to true Christian, true and authentic Christian charity. Many of you know me, and if you do, you know that I am usually not at a loss for words. I talk a lot and I talk loudly, and it's even been said that you can usually hear me before you. Up until now, I can talk about things, and I would talk about projects that we're doing with the same things of the Paul. But this is something different, and it was very personal to me. And uh, so I'm feeling a little embarrassed and a little bit uncomfortable with this, and I hope you'll be patient with me while I do this. Um, I'm trying to keep it short. I do tend to go on for long periods of time, but I'm going to try to keep it short, just like we'd like our sermons. And uh, if you see Father James with a hook trying to come after me with a hook to drag me off, you'll know I've gone on too long. People have asked me recently why I do what I do. This is why I do what I do. This statue is very special to the regular visitor. It just looks like it's a homeless man, a beggar. But this is our neighbor, and, the, and that's the heart of our faith and why we do what we do. This is a very special statue, and it has a secret to it. And once you know it, you can't pass it without smiling. Underneath the hood, there's a beautiful face. But the telltale sign, if you look at his hand, there's a hole in there. There's a wound. I call it the Beggar Christ statue. Its official title is Whatsoever You Do, from the quote that says, Whatsoever you do, the least of my brethren you do to me. I love this statue. I think it's so powerful. And it says it all in just a very few words. It's see the face of Christ in everyone we meet. That's hard to do. It's a struggle. But it's the heart of our faith, and it's what we're called to, to love your neighbor. Love God, love your neighbor. Pretty simple. This statue was given to us by a parishioner, Clem Cody, many years ago, and it was over on the other side of the campus where it couldn't be seen. And I asked Father Ralph, could we please move it to a place of honor? I think it deserves that honor. And he said, sure. So we moved it out here, and it got mixed reviews in the beginning. People were a little uncomfortable with it. Shouldn't be uncomfortable with the poor. Every time I pass by it, I smile, because the people who know who it is, they're always leaving flowers, notes, money. I think that's what we have to remember, is this is, this is why we're here, and it's what we believe. We should reflect on that in the Baker Christ statue, and we should reflect on why we're here. Um, the last thing I want to do is sound preachy, uh, and I'm certainly not a do-gooder. And I'm certainly not perfect. Just ask my husband, my family, and my friends, they'll all tell you the same thing. I'm just a struggling person trying to do the right thing. And asking God every day, how am I doing, God? Am I being the best person I can be? Am I using the talents you gave me in the right way? It's what's deep in your heart that counts. It's not about the big house, the fancy car, or how many followers you have on Facebook and Instagram. It's what you believe deep down. That's important. One of our former pastors, Father Goodell, used to tell the same sermon over and over again, and it was so monotonous. But the bottom line is, here I am telling you the same story, because it really sticks with you, and the meaning of it is, is so important. He tells the story about how he and his brother were altar servers, and they had to get up for Mass to go see Mass. It was freezing cold and snowy. And I have the feeling that they had been asked a couple of times to get out of bed, and they didn't. And all of a sudden, their father showed up at the foot of the bed and he was shaking his finger and he said, if you really believe what you say you believe, I wouldn't have to tell you to get out of bed and go serve Mass. Well, the same is true of us in helping our neighbor. If we really believe what we say we believe, deep in our hearts, no one would have to tell us to help the poor. We would just go out and do it and act on it. So I'm sharing all this with you because my life has taken on some urgency. There's a song from when I was young, it's a Cat Stevens song. There's a line in it that says, 
We're only dancing on this earth for a short while. I, I think all of us know that somewhere in our hearts, but we tend not to think about it. And it hit me in the face this past year and a half because I was diagnosed with AML. Uh, AML is a, a very aggressive leukemia with a dismal prognosis. Um, it's a hard concept to digest. It's a hard concept to realize that your time is going to be shorter here. I'm okay with it. I'm at, I'm at peace with whatever happens. But I've been given the gift of time, time that I didn't think I had, and I'm determined to use it in the best way I can. I'm going to continue on with my St. Vincent de Paul stuff and enjoy every minute that I've been given. And I think no one knows when their time is up. At least I've been given a heads up and time to prepare for it. So I'm excited about that, and I'm happy to have had this past year of pretty good health. And I think we all need to keep that in mind, that we don't know how much time we have. So I think um, we all need to utilize our time the best way we can, share a little bit of our heads and our hearts with others. And there's a, a quote that I uh, saw in the past year that I really like, and it says, the greatest use of a life is to spend it on something that outlasts it. I think that's a really good way to put it. So the reason I'm sharing all this with you, and uh, I hope you're still with me, is that I worry. I worry that all the programs that have been developed all the years I've been here won't continue, and they need to. They're so important. Uh, when I first started with the St. Vincent Paul 37, 38 years ago, it was a small group of people, and we helped people in the parish you know, with money to get them on their feet. But over the years, we have so many ministries. We have taken on more and more and more. Uh, you are all familiar with our drives, you know, underwear, back to school, bundle Sundays, blanket Sunday, giving tree. Uh, there are many of them. But uh, we've also expanded. We have outreach centers that we have volunteers. We do hot meals. And uh, I've also started an Ogres de Caridad, which is a St. Vincent de Paul like group in El Salvador. All of those need to continue. It's so important to me. But they can only continue if we have your input, if we have your help. It needs, it needs leadership for the future. It needs a constant presence so that they're not forgotten. And we can only do it with your help. So I'm asking for that. I'm asking for you to give a little bit of your, your heart to these different projects um, because they're always worthwhile. And I, in return for that, in return for that, you will get such joy. It, it really is a wonderful thing, and it, and it will make your heart happy. And you'll develop great friendships. I've met so many wonderful people and have gotten so many good friends from, from this. And you'll develop a sense of community with St. Barnabas. Now, this is a generous parish. It's um, an outreach parish. And I'm so happy to be able to say that. I brag to everybody I know about how wonderful it is. But it can only do that if you get involved. So we need you, and I'm asking for your help. Everyone says we need your time, talent, and treasure. Uh, we love your treasure, we love your money, and it's what enables us to do so much. But the danger in that is that you could become a checkbook society, meaning that you think you can just write a check and you're done. And there's much more to it than that. We need you. I know life is busy, everyone's running around doing everything, but perhaps you could just volunteer a couple of hours, maybe every six months, work your way into it and get a little more involved each year. Until you get older, some of your responsibilities may back off a little bit and you have more time to contribute. I, I think you will get such joy and satisfaction from that and become a member of this family, this community. It's, it's part of me, it's my heart, it's my soul. I really love it and I think you will too. And you'll only get that satisfaction and joy, but you'll make your part of the plan a little bit better too. So I just want you to remember a couple of things. Just remember how blessed you are with your life, warts and all, and want to share that with other people. Share your good fortune. Trust me, you're going to love it. I think I see the look. So I'd like to leave you with a little quote. It's one of my favorite quotes. Uh, years ago, in 2006, when we opened our first Ozanam Outreach Center, we got all the volunteers together before all our families came to pick up their clothing and their food. And we would say this prayer before they came. And it goes like this. 
Life is short, and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel the way with us. So be swift to love and make haste to we truly thank God today for the gift of Mike Ferrara and all she's given to us at St. Barnabas by word and example. Let's close the prayer today. Heavenly Father, who has made us, who loves us, and who travels a long way with us, be with us now and forever. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.